and our esteemed uh, faculty for uh, allowing me to present my work. Uh, my uh, topic is dual mobility hip. A patient coming to your clinic, the first question, or they are they are expecting something from you. They are, the questions will be like, can I squat down? Can I sit on the ground? Can I use an Indian commode? Or can I pray down? So uh, um, I'm going to present uh, something about dual mobility hip. Instability being one of the most common complications after a hip, uh, patient present uh, in a routine THR, acetabular, the head size depends on the acetabular size which we are going to use. If it is a 38 to 48 mm of uh, acetabular size, we will use a 22.5 mm of head, uh, 46, 44 to 46, 28, 48 to 50, 32, 52 to 56, 36 size head, uh, femoral head. The dislocation rate depends on the size of the head which we are using, the size 22.5 showing the highest amount of dislocation rate, that is 8.5. Size 28 is 6.49, size 32 is ap approximately 5 and size 36 is 0 0.621 percent of the dislocation. An average acetabular, average Indian acetabular size, according to anthropometries done in India, the male acetabulum size is 41.29 plus minus 3.06. In females, it is 37.15 plus minus 0.3. So the most common head size which we use in a total hip replacement being 28. 6.49% was the dislocation in the number of hip in Indian studies with 28 size head, while in abroad it shows a dislocation rate of as high as 9.8%. The most common size being used in Indian condition for hip replacement is 28 mm. Dual mobility hip was introduced by Busquet in 1970. So the concept of mechanism of dual mobility hip, the first articulation, uh, the first articulation, the head engages with the mobile polyethylene liner and follows a typical behavior of a hard on soft bearing of a standard total hip arthroplasty. After that, the second articulation begins to function, which consists of the back of polyethylene liner and the metal acetabular shell. As the P liner articulates, the effective range of motion increases until the impingement of the femoral neck happens with the acetabular shell. In this way, the head liner complex behaves as a larger head, allowing greater degree of movement and an increase in the subsequent jump distance for dislocation. In a dual mobility hip cup with a 22 mm and a 22 mm to a 28 mm femoral head de uh, demonstrate significant greater range of motion as compared to a conventional uh, THR with a similar design. A head in, uh, as the uh, head size increases the range of motion as well as impingement of the neck against the P liner reduces and increases, uh, uh, it reduces the risk of intraprosthetic dislocation. The mean dislocation rate for a primary dual mobility is 0.9% while in revision cases it is 3%. The mean rate of intraprosthetic dislocation was 0.7% in primary and 1% in the revision total hip cases. This is a diagram showing, can I get a pointer? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is a diagram which shows Okay, I'll show it on the road. So this is the diagram which shows the mechanism of movement of a dual mobility hip. The inner polyethylene, uh, the inner metal cup or a ceramic cup moves inside the polyethylene liner first. It impin the neck impinges against the polyethylene liner here and Further increase in the range of motion happens once the polyethylene liner moves inside the acetabular shell giving an increasing in the uh, range of motion. A size 28 cup, the jumps dis jump distance is small while a size 36 head, the jumps distance is a bit more, uh, less than the uh, uh, 36 mm head. So this gives us more stability for, uh, um, for preventing dislocation of the hip. So I'll just present some patients of mine, uh, 87 years old patient, operated 15 years back, just with a twist of her uh, leg, 
while getting down she dislocated her hip she was completely mobile walking before the dislocation i have done a uncement uh, sorry a cemented acetabular just change the acetabular shell into a dual mobility shell retain the same stem which was done by the prior surgeon this is a 27 year old male high demand male sports person plays cricket uh, he had bilateral avascular necrosis uh, did a primary dual mobility hip on both sides in single setting today this is the function this is the range of motion which he has achieved plane hai He's a obese patient again. Bilateral avian hip fracture classification grade three. Done a bilateral uh, dual mobility hip. Since because he's slightly obese, it is getting it is difficult for him to get up. Otherwise, he's achieved full range of motion. Next, 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 next. Unilateral uh, uh, dual mobility hip done in a 36 years old guy. Seventy-six years old patient with a fracture neck femur. Uh, uh, I have done with hybrid system, hybrid uh, fixation, uncemented in the acetabulum and the uh, cemented in the femoral stem. Achieved full range of motion, able to sit down and walk, uh, um, squat down. Uh, i have presented my work in american association of hip and knee surgeons i have uh, done uh, presented my work for uh, uh, young uh, avian patients uncemented dual mobility hip and young patients thank you mm -hmm.